South Korean President Moon Jae-in was in Pyeongchang yesterday to cheer on the Korean skaters in the short track finals. He also met with journalists there, plus the officials and volunteers that made these Olympic Games possible. But when it comes to issues of geopolitics and the Korean Peninsula, President Moon says it's still too soon to think about holding an inter-Korean summit in the north. Our Blue House correspondent Hwang Ho-jun reports. Don't count your chickens before they hatch is the stance of South Korean President Moon Jae-in when it comes to a possible meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The liberal leader made those comments on Saturday during his latest visit to the host city of the Winter Olympics, stopping by the main press center to offer some encouragement to journalists from around the world covering the Pyeongchang Winter Games. There's been an apparent thaw in relations between the two Koreas during the Olympics, but President Moon is still cautious about discussing the timing of a meeting between himself and the North Korean leader. However, he did note that there's a growing recognition of the need for dialogue between the U.S. and North Korea and said he looks forward to the momentum for inter-Korean dialogue leading to talks between Washington and Pyongyang and ultimately North Korea's denuclearization. The prospect of a visit to Pyongyang by President Moon first surfaced when North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's younger sister, Kim Yo-jong, made a historic visit to Seoul as her brother's special envoy last week. She delivered a personal letter from Kim containing an invitation for the South Korean leader to visit Pyongyang. After President Moon's meeting with the press, he had dinner with officials from the Pyeongchang Organizing Committee and volunteers serving at the Winter Games to commend their hard work. And later in the evening, President Moon and his wife, First Lady Kim Jong-suk, went to the Gangneung Ice Arena to cheer on the Korean short track speed skaters. He saw the finals for the women's 1500 meters, in which Korea took the gold medal, and the men's 1000 meters, where Korea won bronze. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.